Hi, this is Dr. C, and this is the Writer's Diet Demo, software and book by Dr. Helen Sword. This is a video for CCC Online. Visit thewritersdiet.com and click on the link, The Writer's Diet Test. Now, what is The Writer's Diet? Well, it's a writing analysis tool. Here's the website, and we're going to click the link right here for the test. We need some content to paste into this box, and the instructions say 100 to 1,000 words. No more, no less. So I have some content here, and you go to the review ribbon, you highlight your content, and you click on word count to make sure it's between 100 to 1,000 words, and copy it. Right click over here and select paste. In the lower right corner, run the test. Well, it's color coded my content below and it has five categories. And of course, it's using humor, diet humor, to tell me if I'm lean, fit, or trim, needs toning, flabby, and heart attack level. Now, it's not me, it's my writing, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. So let's take a look. You click on these color-coded words, and you'll notice these are abstract nouns or blue, prepositions are green, adjectives and adverbs are yellow, it, this, this, that, and there, considered waste words or demonstratives, <laughs> are pink, and then of course we have verbs in uh, orange. So what are we looking at? It's counting our use of these words and it's thinking about the overuse or when we're building in some fatigue for the reader with too many ION words or if we repeat ourselves, like I have location, location, amusement, amusement. <laughs> now, not all of these words are a problem, but we're keeping an eye on it. For example, if you write fiction, you will hear publishers tell you that they're not fond of too many L-Y words in a book. In fact, some publishers refuse to publish a book that has adverbs in it like this. The reason is the old show-don't-tell rule, which says that you should demonstrate the action rather than summarize it with an adverb. So we keep an eye on these things, but for technical writing, this is fine. You're going to notice that your nouns are going to be in the needs toning or flabby area because we use a lot of descriptors and we use formal ways of expressing our nouns. Let's look at another sample. In the next browser, I have copied and pasted more content. And it once again says I'm fit and trim. My content is, that is. <laughs> Your sample has 394 words. You notice it's color coded. And once again, I can think about my use of adjectives and adverbs my use of prepositions, so I don't overuse them, my use of linking verbs, or to be ver verbs, right? and then of course my use of nouns, and it, this, that, and there. You'll notice I use those sparingly. It, this, that, and there refer to nouns or adjectives. They serve as pronouns. They they replace a noun that's missing in action, and hopefully it's referring to content that preceded it. Well, this has been a quick look at a tool that helps you to analyze your writing and to make decisions on how to edit it. I'm Dr. C, and I want to wish you a great time writing. Keep on writing. Bye-bye.